Hey guys, welcome to Protocoders Point. Okay, so in this Flutter tutorial, we will implement two libraries that is been used to take rating from user. So this is the first library and is named as Smooth Star Rating, and the second library is Rating Dialog. So as you can see, the first library, the user can select his desired rating to an app, and the rating will be updated in a, a number form and we can use to display the it to user and the second library is rating dialog when i press on this button a pop-up will appear a dialog pop-up will appear where user can select his rating the user can comment and he can submit it okay so in this video tutorial we will implement both of this library so let's begin with the tutorial. Let's create a new Flutter project in my Android Studio IDE. Okay, so our Flutter project got ready. So these are the default code given by Flutter by creating new Flutter project. So I will just remove uh, the default code and add my own uh, stateful widget. So it is taking rendering, so it might take some time. In this stateful widget, instead of this container, I will just use scaffold. So in the scaffold, I will make use of app bar to show a app bar in our app screen. So our Flutter project has been created. So I will just run for run this for the first time because the, for the first time it may take some time to render. So our app has got installed in our uh, device. Okay, so as you can see this. Okay, so let's begin with the tutorial. So first of all, uh, we need to add the dependency of the libraries. So just go to pop specification.yaml file and over here in dependency section under this add the library that is smooth star rating. Okay, so keep the version empty so that it will take the latest one and the second library that is rating dialog. Okay, so after adding this, just hit the pub get button. Now as you can see, the code is zero. That means the both the libraries got added in your Flutter project in external library section. Okay, so now go to main.dat file. So over here, you need to import those libraries. So first I will just import smooth rating dialog. Okay, so after importing this, we will code it over here in our body. So in our body, I will make use of center widget to bring all the widgets at the test center of our screen. Okay, and I need to use more than one widget. So for that, I will make use of column. Okay, so in this side uh, ch ch children array, so here I will just add a text widget to display a first uh, text widget means the first library and then I will just give a sized box so that there is a space between them the height will be of 20 and then I will just add the smooth child, smooth star rating library smooth child rating ok so if you go to this library properties so that there are various properties that you can use such as you can uh, limit the star rating you can make it 4 you can make it 3 or you can make it 10 anyhow okay so rating there are various properties on rated what should happen and the border of a star and the star means it should be filled or no okay so let's begin over here so here first of all 
rating so that this is the default rating when the app means for the first uh, time when this star star rating is been shown uh, how much star should be selected the default star so for that we will just create a variable over here double the rating is equal to we can set it to 4.0 okay so the same thing we can just add it over here so initial value of the star will be 4 okay so give a size to the stars i will give it as 45 and trade icon icons dot star okay and then the half filled star icons dot half star the default icon is something that is unselected i will just show you now Uh, we will make use of star borders. By default, as you can see over here, the max, the the star is count as five. So if you want to give more than uh, five, then you can use you can update it. For now, we will just set it to five. and then the spacing between the each stars i will give it as 2.0 and then what should happen after the user select or change the star rating there is a function on rated so here by making use of set state we can update the rating the rating is equal to the value that the user select selected okay and then here after this i will just show a text widget to print the user selected stars okay so as you can see you selected the star value star okay so i will just run this app now okay so app got run so as you can see by default the star selected rating is 4 so the the stars are 4 so if i change it the value also get changed so you can see over here 4.5 okay 1.0 like this so this is the first library that you can use uh, then let's go to second library so we will just copy paste the text widgets and everything ok so here i have give a size means the, there should be difference between the second uh, library so i am giving a padding a line horizontal line and then one more size box that is of size 20 and then the text widget ok Okay, so here we will give one button, raised button, or you can say it as elevating button. So let's create it. Elevation button when pressed. Okay, the child, the text to the button we can give. Okay, and here we will just call a method that we will create now so the method name we can give as uh, rating the rating dialog is already there so we can give as so let's create it here void so 
so in show method we will show a dialog so for that we will make use of so dialog uh, widget so in do, so dialog widget we will pass a constructor and the builder so in builder we need to pass our rating uh, rating dialog widget so this is the widget we need to call okay so first of all here in context we will add a barrier dismiss we will set it to true so i will just tell you what it is okay so in this builder context it will return a rating dialog okay so as you can see it accepts some parameter such as title so we will just set the title that is and the message you want to show to the user in the images okay so in the image section we will just show a icon dot we will show a star okay, so this is the star icon now uh, we will set a size to this icon 100 uh, we will give a color to this icon we can give it as colors we can give something we can give as orange okay so we'll just separate this code so it will be visible for you okay so now here submit button uh, you need to give a text to this submit button submit and on submit what should happen so this is the function so this returns some value so we will give it as response okay so this is the user selected value it will become to the this response so here we will just print a statement on the dialog just for uh, showing you a demonstration of it so here i am using a print command to print and the response that is response dot rating okay and then uh, we can also give a comment so this response will also hold some various uh, values of this rating so for now comment we will just print it response dot comment okay so we'll just restart our app now let's check okay so as you can see there is a button so when i press on this button so you can see there is a red icon the image icon there is a title a message a stars and this is the star by default which will come from this rating okay so when i select on this star i will select four and i will just print some message over here i will just enter a comment so when i print uh, press on this submit button so you can see in this uh, console that the comment got printed on our screen and the rating which was selected is 4 so we just select 3 submit 3 and the comment that i have entered okay so this way the two li libraries that you can use to ask rating from your app user 
okay so that's all for this video tutorial hope you got the concept please do subscribe protocol as point